Hello, I'm Karina Krieger. Hi, I'm Sarah Zong. I'm from Beverly Hills High School in Beverly Hills. So our science fair experiment focused on the best way to clean up oil from oil spills. Throughout our entire lives, we've heard of the catastrophic effects of oil spills on the environment and how detrimental they are. And although there are many technologies that can help clean up this oil from oil spills, they are focused primarily on deep and open sea environments and can be damaging to the environment of marshy and shallow areas. So we set out to discover what the best solution would be to clean up oil in marshy and shallow environments without harming the ecosystem. Our hypothesis was that hair would work the best. It's long and fibrous and can attract, trap, and disperse many liquids. So for our experiment, we set up 10 large plastic bins, nine for the materials we wanted to test and one for the control. In those bins, we put eight cups of marsh water that we collected ourselves and one cup of oil. Then we stuffed our materials into cheesecloths, put them, tied them, and put them into the environment to allow them to absorb oil. After 24 hours, we took our sorbents out and weighed them. After that, we placed them onto a rack so they could dry, as although a lot of oil was absorbed, there is still a significant amount of water, and we wanted to let that water evaporate to produce more accurate results. So after two days, we reweighed our sorbents and created a graph based off of that. Our second form of measurement was actually measuring the depth of the oil in the environment, and we also created a graph based off of that. So our second method of measurement, looking at the height of the oil left in the environment, showed that polyester by far did the best. 95% of the oil left in the environment was absorbed. And because we were checking up on it regularly, we saw over time that in about an hour, it looked as if all the oil had been absorbed. So polyester not only absorbed a lot of the oil, but absorbed it very, very quickly. Cheesecloth and shredded bark, although not as, did not have as good of results as polyester did, did very well. Hair, which we thought to be the best sorbent and believed it would work the best, did very poorly and did not absorb half as much oil, um, oil as we expected. Our first measure, our first measurement looking at the weight of the sorbents after its time in the environment and after the water was evaporated showed that cotton had done the best. These results, however, were misleading. Because cotton had absorbed so much water and a little bit of oil, when we set it out to evaporate, not all the water evaporated. The oil trapped the water in the cotton and prevented it from fully evaporating. These results skewed these results skewed the actual data and showed cotton to do much better than it actually did. However, the more accurate parts of this results showed that polyester did great as well as cheesecloth. However, charcoal and eye petrol gel barely absorbed any water as well as oil. So, in conclusion, our hypothesis was proven wrong, as hair, as we thought would absorb the most oil, did not actually absorb that much, as the majority of it was actually water. On the other hand, popcorn and shredded bark actually worked surprisingly well, but looking at it on a practical level, it would not be efficient to pop popcorn or cut down trees in order to absorb oil, so those would not be viable solutions to our problem. Lastly, with polyester absorbing the most oil by far, with only 0.5 millimeters of oil left in the environment when there was 10 millimeters to start with, we believed that polyester would be the best solution to our problem. In polyester, we could recycle plastics like water bottles that are already polluting our environment. We can extract those and then weave them into quilts of polyester and then lay them out into marshes, allow them to evaporate both quickly and efficiently. And then we can just easily roll them up so it's easy application and extraction. Thank you. Thank you.